Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to share with you my tips on how to choose the perfect nude lipstick for yourself. This is going to be a lipstick that you can just um, take, put in your handbag and use every time when you're wondering what to wear. You should be able to wear this lipstick even if you're not wearing makeup. This is the perfect nude in my opinion. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button right now if you enjoy beauty talks. I also have a new series on my YouTube channel, it's called French for a Day, where I share with you my French beauty secrets and it's all about the natural makeup look. Have you ever seen the covers of the magazines where the model was wearing a beautiful nude lip and she looks absolutely gorgeous, but then when you end up trying to choose a nude color for yourself, you look as if you have been sick for the past couple of weeks. So this is something that we want to avoid here. We want a nude color that is going to complement your skin tone. It's going to work with your skin tone, with your hair color, and it's going to look absolutely stunning on you. When we say nude lipstick, we think of something that closely resembles our skin tone. This is a fleshy color, and we usually tend to say that nude lipsticks look very natural on the skin, and this is the natural makeup look. Well, it's exactly the opposite. There is nothing natural about a nude lipstick, because if you take a closer look, I'm going to be inserting videos and uh, photos of myself, because I want to use myself as an example. The reality is that our skin tone is always different different from the color of our lips. The color of our lips is usually going to be depending on your skin tone and depending on your undertones. It can be a little bit pinkish, like a pale pink color or different shades of pink color. It can have a little bit of red, it can have some blue, but the color of your lips is never going to be the same color as the color of your skin. So by default, a nude lipstick is a statement lipstick. It's never going to look natural because natural means that you're going to use just a clear lip gloss or you're going to try to match exactly the color of your lips, which is usually going to be a light pink color or with a little bit of reddish, with a little bit of bluish color. So the nude lipstick, as we think of it, is a statement. When professional makeup artists are talking about the nude lip, they are usually going to imagine a color that is a shade lighter than your lips. You can see right now that I'm holding a color that is exactly fits the definition of a nude lipstick. It is a little bit paler than my lips. However, it is not the same color as my lips. This is the kind of color that fits perfectly the definition of a nude lipstick, but if I apply it on my lips, it's going to make me look as if I'm sick. You're going to see in a minute I'm going to show. Such pale classic nude colors are not suitable for everyday use because they are very demanding and I will have to do a certain eye look and a certain blush and everything has to be very well done to make this color and to make such pale nude color look nice for everyday use. This is another example of a nude color that is not going to look well on my skin tone and it's not going to work beautiful as an everyday lipstick. Even though it is a little bit deeper than the previous color that I showed, it's still way too pale, way too yellowish and this kind of colors that are pale nude colors, the classic, the so-called classic nude colors are very demanding, especially to your skin tone. You will have to make sure that your skin looks absolutely perfect before using such nude color. Now let's go ahead and apply the first color and see what's going to happen with my lips. As you can see, initially it looks as if it's going to be a good match for my skin tone, but is it a good match for my lips? Definitely not. It makes me look as if I'm sick. It basically made my lips disappear and it's not flattering on me. A skilled makeup artist could make even this color work with the proper eye makeup and with the proper blush and with the lighting and for an editorial this kind of lipstick might look good but it's never going to look good for an everyday look. Now let's take a closer look at the deeper color and again it doesn't do anything for my skin. These are not colors that are suitable for everyday use because they make me look tired, they make me look exhausted and they don't do anything to complement my skin tone. What these two colors have in common is that neither of these colors is going to work as a blush on me. They are not going to do anything for my cheeks. And here comes my biggest tip on how to choose the perfect nude lipstick that is going to make your complexion look more alive. 
The easiest way to choose the perfect everyday nude lipstick is to test it on your cheeks first. If it works on your cheeks as a blush, then it's going to be your perfect nude that is going to complement your skin tone beautifully and you're going to be able to wear this color even if you're not wearing makeup. This means that the color is not going to compete with your skin tone and you're going to be able to look alive when you're wearing this color instead of looking sick. This is a nude color and it doesn't have to look very dark on your cheeks, but it still has to work on your cheeks and that's how you're going to know that it's going to work well on your lips as well. Contrary to the popular belief, the perfect everyday nude color that you can wear even if you're not wearing another makeup on your face, even if you just want to wear the lipstick, is going to be a shade deeper than your lips. Now you can see on the left and on the right, these are two nude colors that work very well on my skin tone. However, on the left side, I have a combination of two Chanel lipsticks. The color is a little bit deeper and it works beautifully on my skin tone. Even though I don't wear any other makeup, I only have a little bit of tinted moisturizer and that's it. I don't have any anything else on my face and I can go out with this look. On the right side you are seeing another nude lipstick that still works on my skin tone. It still uh, complements my skin tone but I will need to wear a little bit of eye makeup to make this lipstick look better on me. So if you want a nude lipstick that is going to work beautifully no matter whether you're wearing makeup or not then always go for a shade deeper than your lips. If you don't like the idea of going a shade deeper and you still prefer to wear a pale nude color, then you have to make sure that this nude lipstick doesn't compete with your skin tone. How to find out if the lipstick competes with your skin tone? I have a simple tip for you. When you go in store, apply the lipsticks on the tip of your fingers and you're going to see if the color competes with your skin tone. The tips of your fingers and the inside of your palms is usually the color that is going to be the most similar to the color of your lips. This is where you're going to be able to see if the color is going to work for your lips or not, if it, in which one is going to work best for your skin tone. So when you're in store, always make sure to swatch the nude lipsticks on your fingers tips. Now I would like to say a few words about the textures of the different lip products and how they can affect the size of your lips and how they are going to look depending on the size of your lips. In today's makeup world we have a variety of different textures of the lip products. We have tinted lip glosses, luminous lipsticks, matte lipsticks, velvet lipsticks. We have so many different textures and brands are always releasing new and new products and new formulations. Now there is something that I have noticed for myself. If you are someone who has beautiful lips, full lips, then you can afford to wear whatever you want. But if you have thinner lips like mine, you're going to have a lot less control with the nude lipstick if you choose a sheer texture. So choosing a sheer texture is usually going to make your lips look as if they are literally going to disappear. If you have thinner lips like mine, then it becomes a little bit more challenging. So I would say go for the intense color formula, so where the color is a little bit more intense because it's going to give you a lot more control. If you want to wear a nude lipstick on its own without wearing a lot of makeup on your face, then you should go for a color that has luminous intense color or a matte color or a velvet color. These are the products that have a little bit more pigment. The pigment and the color is a little bit more intense. This is going to allow you to cheat a little and to shape your lips the way you want to and your lips are not going to disappear. So that was all for today's video and always be sure to wear your makeup with confidence and don't forget to smile because smile is the most beautiful makeup. If you find this video useful, please share it with a friend or a relative and let's grow our community. I would love to have you here. Also subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to check out my French for a day series if you like natural makeup looks, easy, quick, everyday looks. That's the kind of content that I create in this new series on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!